Sleep apnea has less to do with your anatomy and more to do with your blood chemistry. Pretty surprising because we get told we need mouth guard surgery, CPAPs, and more. But the thing is, when you look at the research and what they've been able to do to your blood to impact your breathing, it's pretty interesting. Here's a study that covers how this drug here, also known as Diamox, which alters your blood chemistry, has been shown to be very, very helpful in obstructive sleep apnea. So they looked at a bunch of different studies and they found that this drug can reduce the events per hour by 16. So you can get similar effects without using a drug because our brains have a breathing thermostat in there that is impacted by the levels of CO2. When you have obstructive sleep apnea, this breathing thermostat is not working very well, but if you retrain it, then you can breathe better at night. One of the easiest ways is with box breathing, which is like four in, four hold, four out, four hold, and just repeat that. Now, if you want the best step-by-step -step way that's been very effective for thousands of people, go ahead, click here to get your step-by-step -step protocol, or just go to the website over my face.